We always hear about this mass migration, people fleeing California to go to Idaho or Texas, or people fleeing New Jersey to go south to North Carolina, Florida. Is it true? <laughs> we hear about it. Is there any basis in reality for that? And the answer I can share with you is no, there's not. And uh, it's actually, it was, it took me by surprise too when I first learned about this. I read an article about a year ago and I did a video on it when I first started the YouTube channel that talked about the very, very few people actually leave uh, intro, interstate. If anything, there's a more migration interstate, intrastate within the state as there is a interstate from state to state. And I was stunned because I always heard, oh my goodness, the whole state of California is fleeing, going to Texas and Idaho, and just as simply not true. So I'm going to share with you my own uh, background in terms of where I've lived, which takes the Northeast, the Mid Atlantic, the Deep South, and the West, as well as South Texas, and will show you the exact, the exactly lack of true migration there is which I think is just interesting. And again, we're going to use the Census Bureau uh, data. This interactive map is just awesome. So don't forget to subscribe down below, my friends. Uh, thumbs up, always help, and uh, comments and share as well. So here we go, the Census Flows Mapper. And you can go any, look, 2006 to 2010, 2000, I mean, just uh, any five-year increment going back to 2006. And you can, I mean, just tons of ways you can manipulate this. It's, it's flipping awesome. You can select a county. You can slick or click on the map. It gives you all the various counties that are out there. My wife just pulled up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. I'm going to flow into the where I was born and raised. We'll start with the great county, Cumberland County, Maine, uh, which is where I was born in Maine Medical Center in Portland. I can't remember this. Pine Street, I think. I forgot the street that I was on. And we'll start with that, and we'll get a gauge of net migration uh, in Cumberland County, Maine, which is you can't get much northeast than uh, Cumberland County, Maine, that's for sure. And I think is that one right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So it's Map County. So you click on the county, you click Map County, and then it'll, it'll highlight it for you. And then it'll give you a uh, total net migration. And you want to click on this View County Statistics things right here. So let's click on that. In Cumberland County, Maine, uh, 285,000 is the total population over that five-year time frame, of which 8,822 8, 8, moved to Cumberland County from a different state and 9,347 moved to a different state from Cumberland County, Maine. So if we take a net of 9,347 minus 8,822, that gives us a net of 525 households that moved uh, from Cumberland County, Maine uh, out of 285,000. Let's see. And that gives us a, a less than 1%. Uh, that's just that's not mass migration. Now, people say, well, Maine's so beautiful. OK, so let's go to this county right here. I don't even know what county that is. We'll click on this county and see that's Penobscot County. And we'll see. Maybe that had more of an outflow of Penobscot County, Maine. And again, 151,000 people in there. I'm not sure it's people or I guess it is people uh, of which 4000 moved from to Penobscot County from a different state and 3000 moved into Penobscot County. Uh, now, 4,000 moved into Penobscot County from a different state and 3,600 moved from Penobscot County to a different state. Again, just not much. I mean, less than 1% there. All right, so just not huge, huge flows of traffic by a stretch of imagination. All right, so now I went from Montgomery County, Maine, I and mean, in uh, Cumberland County, Maine, when my folks got divorced, my dad moved right outside D.C. into Montgomery County in Maryland. And we'll bring this guy up here. And there's D.C., so I think... That's Montgomery County. Yep, that's Mont so let's look at this. Montgomery County can't get much more government uh, people flowing in and out than Montgomery County, Maryland, for sure. And let's click on this view county statistics. One million people live there in that five year time frame. And over that five year time frame, uh, four, 34,000 uh, moved from Montgomery. Yeah, to Montgomery County from a different state and 38,000 moved from Montgomery County to a different state. So a net of 4,000 people left this uh, Montgomery County to go to a different state. Not huge migration by any stretch of the imagination. He contributed to being D.C., had a lot of government and stuff. OK, but still not mass migration by any stretch. You know, 4,000 people with a 1 million uh, population, just not a huge. You can't say it's mass migration. All right. So and from there. My dad moved to Alexandria, Virginia, which is where I went in the military, which is right, let's see, right there, I think. And I can't remember, it's Alexandria County. 
Uh, let's make this a little bit bigger here. So that's D.C. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Alexandria was south of D.C. I think it's right there, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Alexandria City. All right, so let's see what we got here in Alexandria City. Um, let's see. We had 150,000 people, basically, of which 10,000 moved to Alexandria City from a different state and 10,000 moved from Alexandria City from a different state as well. And basically the same uh, moved to Alexandria City from a different county within the state and the same about 11,000 moved to a different county from Alexandria City within the same state of Virginia. So again, just not mass migration money stretch. From there, I went in the army up in upstate New York. All right, let's take that's Jefferson County, if I recall correctly. And let's see where Jefferson County is. Is that it right there? Uh, St. I think it might be this right here. Jefferson County, New York. So let's take a look here. That's Watertown. Um, I'm not, maybe Watertown's the biggest. I, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But uh, if there's any mass migration, you would think it'd be from here because it's so doggone cold. 115,000 people there, of which 8,500 8, moved to Jefferson County from a different state and 10,000 moved from Jefferson County to a different state. So a little bit more, about uh, 2,000 more left Jefferson County to go to a different state uh, from uh, Jefferson County, New York, right? But even with Fort Drum there, that's still not mass migration. That's still less than 2% of the total population. And again, we're talking a five-year increment too. I mean, over five years, only 2,000 people left the county to go to a different state even with a huge military presence there. That's crazy, all right? So then I got out and I went to college in Fairfax County and that's probably gonna be the same. So let's skip Fairfax County. That's my wife and I, uh, we met and everything. Real. Then we moved to Maricopa County in Arizona. Fairfax County is probably gonna be the same as DC uh, area. So I'm not gonna, I don't think as much gonna be much interest there. And if I think, if I'm not mistaken, is that Maricopa? I don't think that's Mar That's Gilbert County, Gila County, Pinal County, Maricopa County. Okay, Maricopa County, the largest. This is going to have a lot of transmission or uh, uh, people moving around, right? Uh, expatriates, if you shall. Let's see, Maricopa County, especially with those five years. So 4 million people in Maricopa County of which in those five years, 139,000 moved into Maricopa County from a different state and 109,000 moved to a different state from Maricopa County. So that's what uh, 30,000 difference on 4 million people, man. I mean, that's just, again, well less than 1% of the total population over a five-year time frame actually left, left Maricopa County uh, to go someplace else or came to Maricopa County from someplace else. It just isn't mass, um, just not mass migration in that regard. It's not. All right, so then we moved from Maricopa County to Rockingham County in uh, Shenandoah Valley in Virginia, which is a wonderful place, by the way. Uh, the biggest poultry county in all of the Commonwealth of Virginia, by the way. And you can smell it in my town, a huge poultry plant. And if I'm not mistaken, that's that right there. Is that a good, at Rockingham County? All right. So now lots of uh, of immigrants move into Rockham County because of poultry plants. They want the cheap labor, rightly or wrongly they do. And they get it. So they get a, lots of migrants coming in there who, uh, you know, lay down. I mean, they just lay down uh, family ties there for sure. So you think this have a huge migration to it? Let's take a look. Seventy seven thousand five hundred people in Rockham, Rockham County over those five years, of which nine hundred ten moved to Rockham County from a different state and six hundred thirty three left Montgomery, uh, Rockham County uh, to go to a different state. And I think that would not be us because we moved to uh, Kendall County at some point. Anyway, not much. I mean, so 910 people moved to Rockham County, 633 people left Rockham County, a net migration of us at less than 300. Now, people moved to a different county from Rockham County significantly more, 2,900. And people move to a different county from Rockham County, uh, again, a significantly more to 4,900. But again, this isn't mass migration by a stretch of the imagination. All right. So then my wife and I and my two, four children, but we did have four children. That's where four of our, our three of our four children were born uh, in Harrisonburg in Rockham County. We moved to Kendall County, Texas. And is that it right there? Bear, that's Bear County, Northeast, Kamal County. I think that's Kendall. Yep, Kendall County, Texas. Let's take a look at old Kendall County, Texas. 
And again, that's big info for San Antonio. South Texas is booming. You think it'd be mass migration as well. Uh, Kendall County has 38,000 people, of which 1,100 moved to Kendall County from a different state, whereas 669 uh, moved from Kendall County to a different state, of which we would be one. So they doubled the amount of people coming in and going out. Just not huge uh, population movements. I mean, 1,000 or 500 net on a total population of 38,000, just not that much. Now, here's Bear County. It looks like Bexar County. And don't say Bexar unless you'll know you're not native. It's Bear, like, you know, Bear. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at Bear County. And here's the same thing. You got 1.8 million people in Bear County. That's San Antonio, of which 40,000 moved into Bear County from a different state and 33,000 left Bear County from a, uh, to go to a different state. That's a total migration of 7,000 people on a county of almost 2 million just not much to, to think about, just not. And then folks move from Bear County uh, to a same to the same state, but a different county and to Bear County from a different county in the same state in Texas, uh, they basically equaled off. So just not a big deal. All right, so this will be the interesting one because everyone says, well, everyone's leaving New Jersey, right? And we moved to Camden County, New Jersey. And if you're familiar with Camden County, uh, Camden County is a very interesting dynamic because Camden City is uh, – is horrific. There's literally, other than a couple, uh, you, know, f uh, you know, liquor stores. There's literally no retail in Camden County, in Camden City at all, none whatsoever. It's it's actually quite sad because there's crime. No other way around. It's, it's horrifically crime crime, crime ridden, um, and so they got to go to Cherry Hill, and then we live in Hannafield, which is a very nice, uh, wealthier area, right in Camden County. So you got Philly. You got the Delaware River, and then you got Camden, and then you got Haddonfield. It's, uh, it's weird how segregated those things are. Uh, and if I'm not, is that it right there? Camden County, yep. So if there's going to be mass migration, be from New Jersey, right? Because New Jersey is so expensive. And here in Camden County, we have 504,000 people, of which 8,600 moved to Camden County from a different state, and 11,600 moved from uh, uh, from Ca Camden County to a different state. Again, so that's a, a net of 3,000 people on a total population of 500,000 over the course of three years, uh, five years. Just not significant migration, my friends. It's just not. And then lastly, we ended up where we are today, which is Fulton County in Georgia, which should have mass migration because, again, it's the South and the South is booming, blah, blah, blah. And this, that's South Carolina is Georgia right there. And if I'm not mistaken, that's Fulton County right there. Yep. And let's take a look. And so Fulton County, again, should be mass migration here, right? Because everyone's fleeing New Jersey, supposedly. And view county statistics, basically a million people in Fulton County, of which 35,000 moved to Fulton County from a different state, of which we are one, and 38,000 moved from Fulton County to a different state. So again, just not mass migration. In fact, we had a net loss in Fulton County over those five years of about uh, 20, you know, almost 3,000 people. But 3,000 people on a million, that's 3%. I mean, that's basically uh, it's just st statistically insignificant, frankly, a 3% population because cause they're going to have uh, errors in any kind of statistical process you're doing. So Anyway, that's pretty interesting. I found that to be a very interesting in terms of this quote unquote mass migration of various things going on. Uh, it just is not out there. It's not. So let's look at uh, I, we'll go to Idaho. Everyone says Idaho is getting mass migration from California. And I'm not sure where Boise is. I think that's is that Boise right there. Let's see. Uh, Ada County. I'm not sure. Uh, is there an, a Boise County? I don't know, but let's, uh, let's, looks like that might be big. So let's click on Ada County. I don't know what Ada County is, uh, but it looks like it has some movement. So let's take a look here. And those blues, that meant people are moving in and we'll hit view county stats. Uh, 421,000, I imagine that's probably Boise. Uh, 16,600 moved in from a different state and yet 13,000 moved out to a different state. So, you know, again, 3,000 people on a total population over 400 not mass migration this right here what is that uh that's canyon county idaho and they had a net migration of let's see 200,000 people in canyon county idaho uh, 6700 moved in from a different state and 5700 moved out to a different state so there you have it, my friends just not significant mass migration no matter what you've been told uh, this stuff is interesting as all can be. I'll put a link to the show notes so you can look at your own state and your own counties and whatnot. It's, uh, it's, I tell you, just be advised. You'll get 
you'll get stuck on this and addictive as could be. But for those of you, oh my goodness, we're getting overrun by, you know, California is going to Texas. They're taking their voting patterns with us. It's just not, there's no evidence of that here. There's none. I mean, in terms of the mass migration, I mean, a couple thousand people on either side, I guess I could flip an election, but by and large, it's just not that big of a deal. Now, does that mean uh, people coming in from other countries? It doesn't say. It just, well, it does say movers from abroad. If they're illegal, I don't know how you track them. But uh, in terms of literally, let's just, I'm just curious, actually, movers from abroad. Let's go back to, uh, um, we'll go back to Texas. What's that right there? That's Bear County. I'm just curious. I mean, that would, you would think that'd be. Uh, 13, 14,000 movers from abroad. So let's just assume that's all illegal migration. I literally don't know. That's 13,000 people in a population of uh, 2 million. Not significant, not insignificant, but not significant. That says, oh, you know, my rural county is now going to be decimated by these guys come from New York City. Just, you don't see it, my friends. You just don't see it. So, you anyway, know, interesting. Can't read the headlines. You got to read the articles. That's always tried and true. Just remember that. And if you like what you see, subscribe, comments, thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Dale.